Hi guys, Tom here for the Budo Academy. Click on that little bell, click on subscribe. If you like this video, please click on like. Check out our distance program. Today I want to show you guys an exercise on helping to develop your left side of your body when you're drawing in a right-handed art, so to speak. A lot of folks call it that. It's a right-handed art. Not necessarily so. I've had some left-handed folks come to the dojo and, and tell me that they don't think they can do this because they're left-handed. Lots of folks don't understand that the left hand is so important, sometimes even more important than the right hand. Okay, the right hand's just sort of holding it out there and the left hand's doing all the work. And I'll show you an exercise that you can practice to better appreciate what's going on in your body. Now this exercise isn't a particular style, doesn't have to do with any sort of, um, any sort of um, lineage or, or anything like that. This is just an exercise that we came up with here in the dojo. If you notice that when beginners come to a dojo, they usually draw a sword with the right hand only. They'll pull it out and, and then cut, and understandably so. It, it appears to be that sort of art where only your right hand is really necessary. But there's a lot going on on the left side of your body as well. The left hand, the left hip, the breathing, the tension. If I put my feet together and my sword and my obi, and I release the tsuba with my left thumb, and then if I push my sword out as far as my right arm will let me do it, you'll notice I have a lot of blade left here, a ton of it, okay? So what does that mean? Well, that means in order for me to just use my right hand to draw this sword, I have to overextend myself. I'll do some contortion work. It's not really gonna be very martial. Okay? I'm not providing any tension, any constant tension on my opponent while I'm drawing the sword. Okay? In order to do that, you have to have good posture. So how you can practice this is, again, bring the sword out until your arm doesn't let you do it anymore. And pull, push your left hand back, but take your left foot with you here. Okay? Back, 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 back. Now look, my, my, now my sword's falling out of the side. Now it's going to be out of control. So now you can gain control again. Left foot goes back, slow, then I turn, and I cut. And you notice I have good posture here and I have a good cut here, as opposed to just using my right hand and not pushing this sire back, okay? We call this sire binaria, sire biki, all kinds, of, all kinds of words that we use to describe things here. Back, 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 cut. And what happens is this will develop over time into a forward draw where you don't need to make as big as a retraction on your left side and still maintain good posture, okay? And what's fun about this is this can develop into other things too. For instance, maybe some sort of block or maybe, maybe a cut down below. It's important to understand that the left side is sometimes more important than the right side when you're doing motions in this art. Hope that little exercise helps, guys. I appreciate you watching. We appreciate all the support, and we'll talk to you soon.